What's going on? It's my life in the shot sports. I have Renee here. Can the Bears, can the Bulls make the playoffs? Analysts say they have an 18% chance of making the playoffs and a 1% chance of winning the NBA Finals. What's going <laughs> on? Chicago Bulls beat the Heat last night. Renee, what's going on? Yes. Hi. Hello. So yeah, the Bulls uh, beat the Heat. So we're three and zero against them now. Um, the Bulls pretty much dominated like the first three quarters, and then by the fourth quarter, Miami tried to make a comeback, but just wasn't strong enough. So the Bulls prevailed, and yes, we won. Okay. So now three point shots made all of the difference in this game. The book. The, 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 Defense and three-point. If you can't shoot the ball in 2023, the three-ball in 2023, you cannot win games. And defense. The, both teams had 14 turnovers. The difference was the three-point mark. All right, so they're saying the Bulls managed to match the heat. Deep, um, higher volume night of three-point attempts. Going 17 to 34, while the heat only went 10 for 37. Beverly hit four consecutive three-point get three-pointers. Three and the second quarter went 5 for 10 from the deep ball with a 17-point performance. Kobe White had 4 for 8 on, on, on threes, and Zach had 3 for 6. Now, the bet, the Bulls were up 27 points. Of course, good teams could cut that deficit. I knew they weren't going to keep that 27-point deficit. The, right. uh, the Bulls win 113-99. to Once upon a time in the 90s, games went 80-90 points. Now teams easily put up 100-something points a game. You can't win a game unless you score 110, 120 points. And, and the difference were the turnovers. So now what they're going to say is both teams had 14 turnovers, but the Bulls scored 22 points on turnovers versus the Heat, 11 points. DeRosa snagged three steals, um, and White added uh, two as Bulls led to pressure. Um, the Bulls shot 61% from the floor in the first half and finished 56%. That's very good high volume um, with that win. Yes. The Bulls did very well. We're very proud of them. And so the Bulls actually play tonight. They play the Sixers, which they've been very good. The Sixers are actually two in the East, so that will be a really good game tonight. Okay, we're still number 10 in the uh, Easter right. Conference Finals. We are eligible for the play-in. Our, our playoff yes. hope is still alive. Yes, exactly, yep. Now, moving on to college, Northwestern also played Saturday night as well. Um, Northwestern actually struggled during the first half. Kind of came back during the second half, but unfortunately, they just couldn't pull it out. And Illinois Northwestern, we lost. So yeah, we didn't make it. <laughs> you know what? These teams, you know, uh, a lot of players want to go to these expensive. You know, college is an unfair sport right now. Granted, you can't yeah. pay the players, but the biggest, most the school that has the most money get them better players. The Dukes, you know, all them high Dukes, end yeah. college, and you know, most recruiters recruit from those schools. So, you know, they, most people want to play for the best team out there. And they go to those co those high-end colleges that, you know, where the school is just beautiful. So, yeah. that's going on with that. So, you know, granted that they was able to get that far, good luck next year. It's hard to get that yep. far. Anyway. It is. So, now... What's going on with Lamar Jackson and his contract? He does not have an agent. He has a family friend or family member that's acting as his agent. What's going on with Lamar? Yes, yeah, so Lamar does not have an agent, and he also does not have a contract. So supposedly he turned down a three-year, $133 million uh, contract with the Baltimore Ravens. I believe he's seeking up to $230 million. Is that correct? Yeah, Lamar Jackson is seeking at least two hundred thirty million, but the problem is he wants guaranteed money. In the NFL, you're not guaranteed, you know, money. You can sprain your ankle and you could be out. You know, so what, what? What? Right now, as of now, without a contract, this week into uh, it's it's already a week into free agency, but he's not a free agent right. technically. 
Because under the uh, non-exclusive franchise tag, Jackson is slated to make $32 million in 2023 without a contract, a long-term extension. Um, $32 million. Yeah. Right, so what the non-exclusive franchise tag means is opposing teams can tend to Jackson an offer sheet, which um, they can take two rounds. So if the Ravens keep them and say, okay, cool, we're going to trade them, teams can... Um, forfeit two first rounders under that non-exclusive franchise yeah. tag. Jackson can make thirty-two million with the Ravens, or they can, he can be traded for two first rounders. What do you think? Do the uh, Ravens take him? So now, for mobile quarterbacks, we got Justin, we got Watson, we got um, right. Russell in um, Denver. Denver. Yeah. Do they keep them? Do they pay that two two hundred thirty million? Because right now teams are like, "What have you done? What has he done?" Yeah. Um. So a little bit uh of stats and background on him. Um. Lamar Jackson is still just twenty six years old. He's been in the league for five seasons. He's has won MVP, and he's also a two time. Uh, pro bowler and he has 12,209 passing yards I think that they should keep him I think Lamar Jackson is very talented and he actually wants to be in Baltimore as far as I've heard he actually wants to play and be there and I think you always want that you want a, a player or your star quarterback or star player to actually want to be there and actually play I think they should keep him and pay him so what teams and what the slack, just like Justin here, the slack that he's getting is a lot of fans are like, you're a running back. You're an okay running back. You know, your stats look good, you know, but can you win ball games? You know, we got Brady, we got Rodgers, um, you know, teams, well, granted, uh, uh, Brady is winning uh, Super Bowls. Mahomes is winning Super yeah, Bowls. He's, Super he's the Bowls. man at 200 something million dollar contract and of course deserve it but you know the nfl no teams are biting as of yet because they're like hey you know what have you done for your team far as playoffs how many playoff wins does he have okay so he's one and three in the playoffs in the postseason so just one and three yeah see all right you know man Great quarterbacks, man. Flacco, you know, took him uh, the second year, took him to the NFC Championship game. You know, man, you know, it's about the and, playoffs. Yeah. So what they're going to say is that uh, sources close to the family said he uh, turned down $133 million fully guaranteed six-year deal with the fifth year being. Um, so, and they just paid Roquan Smith $20 million, $100 million deal for a defensive player. So Lamar Jackson's yeah. like, hey, you know, for an offensive head of the team quarterback, 230 shouldn't be that hard of a deal to come to a conclusion. So they're going to say Jackson is seeking close to $230 million as possible. It's, it's fully guaranteed because yeah. you can sprain your ankle the first play in preseason. Well, I think that's a, a big concern for Baltimore as well. He's had some injuries. So I think that's what's holding it up as well. They're concerned about his ability to stay healthy because he is a mobile quarterback, right? And so that happens, unfortunately, if you're running. Well, that's one of the issues with mobile quarterbacks is can they stay healthy? They're running, they're mobile, and they can get injured at any time. You know, speaking of mobile quarterbacks, just like Justin. Justin is still under operating under an $18 million deal rookie contract and that's what ryan pace he's like hey you know i don't want to go out there and toss all these quarterbacks and all these people 200 million dollars and eat up all our salary cap ryan pace is like hey yeah. i want to draft a younger healthy team it's cheaper and take our money and play with some veterans here and there and that's what he's doing because russell wilson is kind of setting the tone for mobile quarterbacks here it is. They paid Russell all that money, and now he's yeah. stunk up the uh, the team last year in Denver. Yeah. So, and and uh, talking about Denver, you know they've signed Sean Payton now as the Denver head coach, which everyone knows Sean Payton is the former coach for the um, New Orleans Saints. So he's a well respected, great coach. Do you think that Sean Payton can help Russell Wilson to get back to the quarterback he once was? 
I think, you know, that first year with Denver, it was a new team, a new offensive line. You know, he pretty much ran that uh, they really, everything was around Russell in Washington. So in say, Seattle. Seattle, right. So yeah. he he definitely had some adjust adjustments to make on Denver. Um, yeah. As a quarterback, you know, he had a lot of pressure on him. Now that Sean Payton is there, I think Sean Payton really – um, get pieces around Russell and just really bring him back into reality, man. That's a lot of money and a lot of anxiety to, to overcome. And, you know, because Definitely. people expect a lot more of them. They do, yeah. But now, you know, people are looking at mobile quarterbacks is like, whoa, wait a minute, you know. They're looking at Denver and like, okay, look at the – Look at the tragedy up there. They didn't pay this man all this money over two hundred million dollars, and he right. was trash. How many victories? You know, we won three three games with Justin last year. Last year, yeah. So now it's you know what the Bears are saying this year is we put all the greatest pieces around you, Justin. You're gonna have to show up and show out. He got a four year contract. This is his third year. He's I think he's going into right. uh, year number four. This is, you have to show up and show out this year. Your last year on this rookie yeah. contract. Because next year, everybody's watching what Lamar does from, from to Watson to mobile quarterbacks. Because, you know, I feel like your stats are great. But can you win the ball game? Because you're supposed to be throwing that ball. And if you drop back, yeah. don't throw the ball and run. Yes, your, your stats look great. They look like you're great. Statistically. Yeah. Well, hopefully with all the weapons they brought in and DJ Moore, they're saying that's going to be a great dynamic duo, so to speak, that he'll throw the be able to throw the ball more and run less. Right. So in the NBA, if you can't hit that three, if, if your team doesn't hit consistently from that three-point line, it is very, very hard in 2023 – to win an NBA game, shout out to the Bulls. They got a hard game yeah. tonight. They do. <laughs> They're going to have to show up yeah, and show out do. tonight. I think that if they consisted on defense and consisted on clutch players like Zach is, uh, DeRozan yeah. is, DeRozan, and three, yeah. I think we could pull a victory out. It will be close. Yes. Very close game tonight. Yeah. Well, hopefully um, the Sixer actually just played last night. They actually lost against Dallas. So hopefully because they come in, it'll be a back-to-back -back for the Sixers. Hopefully the Bulls can take advantage of that and win. Right. They they, they have a lot of games. And this this playing every day has got to be jet lag, especially teams has got to – because we run at home, you know, and it's easier to win at home technically – um, but can you win on the road is what, you know, analysts are saying. Can you pull out a victory on the road? So in 2023, mobile quarterbacks are leading the way, so to speak. But let's talk about Rodgers. Let's talk about Brady. You know, Brady says, hey, I want this type of money. But you know what? Back in the yeah. 90s, a lot of players took a salary cut. So it can open up more salary cap for the team. Granted, Michael Jordan had deals with Nike and hundreds of million dollars coming in, you know, outside of his yeah. contract for the, for, the, for the Bulls. You know, so with Lamar asking for $230 million, will he get it? I don't know. You know, I don't yeah. know if I would. Not with, after seeing what Russell did. Yeah, yeah. I I think that um, Lamar Jackson has great potential. I think Russell Wilson may soon be out the door, so to speak. But Lamar Jackson is only 26 years old, and he's very talented. I think he'll only get better from here on out. Yeah, good point. He's still young. He's still only 26 years old. Still has yeah. a lot of football to play and a lot of uh, learning to do. But can yeah. he take them to the uh, NFL uh, playoffs. Can he win NFL playoff yeah. games and can he take them to a championship? I don't think so this year. I don't think the Ravens are there yet. Even with yeah, him I think being they definitely there. can. Yeah, I think they definitely have to add some more pieces. 
to help him win in the playoffs. And it's a matter of him also staying healthy. I think that I like the uh, uh, Ryan Pace is wanting to draft um, younger players. They're, therefore, you know, get high up in the draft. Therefore, you draft a yeah. lot of good rookies for little or nothing. Um, you get them young. You get them thirsty. You get them at a super cheap. You know, the uh, Ravens just paid, you know, our player, Roquan Smith, $20 million a year, $100 million deal for five years. So, you know, the yeah. Ravens have already spent a lot of money already on defense. Yeah. Granted, Roquan Smith is great, but I don't know if I would have went that route. Yeah. Renee. So, anyway, um, it you know what, the, the NBA, the NFL – it's getting good. I think the Bears, I'm definitely going to uh, stay tuned to that game tonight, see what the uh, Bulls do. Hopefully Bulls pull it do. out. Yeah. Our college teams are out. 2023 right. and 24 is going to be a great year for the Bears. I think that Justin pulls it out. They got all the pieces around them, defensively and offensively. There's no excuses. I think Justin shows up and show out. If he does not, then we know what the issue is. I think he I think he, I think we go to the playoffs this year. Anyway, make sure you guys like, comment. This is Renee. Did you want to say anything? Go Bulls. I hope you can pull it off tonight. Absolutely. <laughs> Shout out to everybody sending me stories. Peace, peace. City on fire. Ooh, down to the wire. My life in the shy. Ooh, it's my life in the shy.